What would you do if you knew you could accomplish it? Our scripture reading today comes to us from the second letter of Peter, 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. His divine power has given us everything needed for life and godliness. Through the knowledge of him who called us by or through, by his own glory and goodness. Thus he has given us, through these things, his precious and very great promises, so that through them you may escape from the corruption that is in the world because of lust, and may become participants of the divine nature. Peter is giving his last testament, his testimony, so to speak. Now, whether Peter wrote all this is up to scholarly and interpretation and generally it's expected that a Galilean fisherman probably didn't write this really good Greek but it's still a testimony nonetheless of one who says we have what it takes we have been given a great gift we can be participants of the divine nature now we have everything we need for a godly life now how often do we feel like we don't how often in life have you encountered not feeling enough of something? Not feeling you have enough intelligence, enough knowledge, enough experience. More often than not, we are disqualified in life for having a lack of something. But as the scripture has reminded us, we have everything we need to live godly lives. It has been richly provided to us by Jesus Christ. We can become participants of the divine. Now, this doesn't mean that we are gods. We do not share God's essence, but it does mean we can receive godlike immortality, doing the things that God loves to do for all of life. And those things, those attitudes, those behaviors, those practices, will live on forever. Jesus' divine power has given us what is needed for life, and it's working in our lives, if only we see it. More often than not, we stop and don't ask. More often than not, we agree with our critics about our shortcomings, about our not-enoughness. But if there was enough, what would you do with it? Jesus' divine life makes it possible for us to seek out a godly life. Will we seek it? Will we live it? Will we do it? Maybe the very things that you are shying away from are the very things God is calling you to do. And God will give you the power the capacity, the knowledge, the strength to do it all for his glory. Let us pray. God, I am grateful that you have called me by your glory and goodness. I thank you that you I have an opportunity to seek you and know you. I ask that as each day passes, I will begin to know you more and more. Continue to draw me deeper, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Blessings to you and yours this day and always. Goodbye.